Hello and happy sketching. We are going to work with line bundles. This is the second rule. Um, we are going to learn why and how we work with line bundles. When I draw something just with one line You will easily find out this is a crocodile, but is it actually a crocodile? Is it compelling? Is it nice? Or isn't it at all what we need because, because it's a little bit childish? So we actually want to do something else. But what are we going to do? Um, when we have just one line, we only have one dimension and one dimension that's not enough because actually we want a three-dimensional uh, object with height, width and depth and that's why we need more than one, one line. So when we are going to develop an object and the form, we are going to draw something like more lines, many lines that go, go along the form to find the real form of a real object that we actually do not know how it looks in, in all the, uh, the details, but we are going to trigger an image with the many lines of your inner uh, of your inner repository of images because you all have seen somewhere a crocodile, you know, with great nostrils, big mouth, sharp teeth, and even those lines that are not at all um, in accuracy to a real crocodile, but you can trigger the image of uh, your inner in the images. So what we are going to do with the multiple lines, we are going to give some free space of your uh, variety of images that you can compare your inner images with what is there in the sketch. Um, but not only this, we can even uh, do with more than one line, so with m many lines, we can do something like um, texture, you know, the crocodiles. So, um, what is this? Is the mouth of the crocodile? Mouth, 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 and so on and so forth. And you can see, whenever I'm drawing, I'm drawing with many lines. And bundles. I don't know, do not know how is the detail of this shoulder here. How does it go over from head to shoulder with a crocodile? But, well, I have to find some crocodiles to learn about the anatomy of the crocodile. But later on, when I have many lines, even wrong lines, then I can develop the drawing uh, or the accuracy of the object of the object. I can draw the accuracy of the object to a real object. And that's why we are going to use more than one line. Okay, go and Google some crocodiles and try to work with line bundles. So not doing this, but doing something similar with many lines so that we can find out about how a crocodile could look like and even if you have just a few lines, but many lines, so first all lines are fluttering for sure, always, but then you are going to work with those lines and this gives the impression of a real object and helps your brain to find the inner image of his own crocodile. Okay, happy sketching.